Welcome back to Yes We're Adopted, Don't Make It Weird. I totally can just turn it on on a dime like that if I need to, even though it's totally exhausting to do so. I'm still Davo. This is Brett. What? Let's talk about adopty things. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right, Davo. Hit him. What are we talking about today? We're going to talk about how, how we deal with racist comments. And then I feel like there should be a thing right here. It's like a theme song of just like, and then a bunch of just racism, I guess. <laughs> Stereotypical Asian racist comments. I can search the web for that. Yeah, search. I don't want you to tell me <laughs> what they are. Right, Google, Google. <laughs> that has a standard answer to that. Do you remember the first time somebody said something like really racist and offensive? I you? mean, I got called, uh, a, this, I don't think was the first one, but the most memorable one for me, mm -hmm. I got called a chink uh, going into a movie theater. I was with a group of kids that we were taking. We were, like, you know, like, hanging out with them, mentoring them and stuff like that. Yeah. Took them to the theater to watch this good, wholesome movie that we were all excited about. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was. And as we're walking in, this kid looks over to his friend and just goes, chink. But I didn't hear it at first. Oh. And one of the kids I was with actually pointed it out to me. Oh. He's like, hey, did you just hear what that kid said to you? And it was, uh, it was an Orvis, so you know he's quarter Japanese, and right. so you know he looks for the stuff too. But you know, so he pointed out to me, and I was like, seriously? Like at first, I was not offended. I, I thought it was hilarious, right? Because yeah, that, that's kind of my that happened. Yeah, I was just like, oh, that was funny. That's a thing that happened. But what I did is I actually went to the manager of the theater and I said, hey, would you be okay if I chased out two kids from the theater? And they're like, oh, yeah, go for it. Because, like, my wife or girlfriend at the time was working there, and I knew the people. And they're like, yeah, do what you want. That's why it closed down. Ha. Um, and so I actually ran out the doors after them. And I was just like, was like, what did you call me? And then they booked. Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> they booked. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen two spastic kids run that fast in my entire life. So that was hilarious. Like, it, it wasn't... Like, you know, yeah, sure, I, I could have been offended. I probably should have been offended at some point. But I wasn't. I just thought it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to do something to just mess with the kids. Mm -hmm. First of all, so they'd stop being stupid. Right. Uh, second of all, because I wanted to laugh at mm -hmm. their expense. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I chased them out of the theater. So you did it. Oh, yeah. Mission accomplished. Oh, it was great. Yeah. It was great. What about you? I, mm, I think the first time I can remember having somebody say something offensive to me would have been in high school where I, I was, uh, you know, I was in class. It was a science class with one of those kids that's always just trying to, like, prove how, how like, against the grain he is. Oh, and, like, yeah. You know, say stuff that's just off color, off color or mean <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> just to be like, yeah, anyway. But, you know, typical white guy. Right. That just, you know, and that's he racist. would. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> But but at the time it was funny. Like uh, he he called me a zipper head, which um, <laughs> that's awful. Which dude. is which is legitimately offensive. That is like the worst thing you can call an Asian person. Yeah, but the, don't do that. The problem was that I didn't know what it meant, <laughs> and I had to ask him. And it was that was what oh, was so you asked awful. Him? Yeah, I was like, is that is that a racial comment? Oh my gosh. He's like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> huh. I should really want to hit you. Yeah. How to disarm bullies 101 yeah. with Devo. Just. Oh, that was a. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you meant that as an insult. How about oh. that? Okay. Oh, yes, I, I am now. offended. Very Woo. good. Okay. You did it. Good yeah. Uh, applaud, applaud. Yeah. Which is really, it's, it's different. So this, this whole idea was presented to us by, a, I think, a new viewer. So Michaela, thank you for watching the channel. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, Michaela, because... There's a bell icon. I mean, we're mentioning you now. You owe us. Yeah. So thanks for watching. And and the real question that, that first came in was, how do you, you like maybe discuss how we deal with racist comments? So there's a few different um, themes that we're going to talk about concerning the racist comments. Mm -hmm. The first one, racist comments on the internet, specifically about these videos. <laughs> we're not popular enough to get any. No, not yet. We so, will be. So our response is, there is no response. We're not popular enough to, to get Man, I, I love racist comments on the internet, though, because they mean absolutely, they should mean absolutely nothing. All comments on the internet Dude, mean nothing. Dude, keyboard warriors, right? Ever since social media became this, like, huge thing, everybody in the world has a platform in which to speak their own voice and opinion when you would never say that to a person's face, ever. 
You like, hope. I mean, you hope, right? I mean, if you do, you get punched <laughs> I, or I, shot. I, or something. I mean, yeah, so go for it. See mm -hmm. what happens. But I mean, you would never say that to a person. No. And so internet comments mean absolutely nothing to me. I think they're hilarious to read. Yeah. I love trolling people myself that do that kind of stuff, just messing with them. Uh, usually responding in GIFs and memes, mm -hmm. like spamming them over and over again until they just shut up and they yeah. just get bored and they say, stop messaging me. It's a lot of fun. My internet comment response so far has been to basically just ignore it. <laughs> uh, I almost never read any of our comments unless I get a notification or something. Right. So most of the comments that I read are positive because that's all I usually see. Yeah. Uh, like, I, hey, we love you. Yeah. I mean, I ascribe to the Seth Godin uh, review method of reading online reviews, mm -hmm. which is not to, because in his <laughs> view, I've never, I was never made a better person by reading right. internet comments. <laughs> and, uh, You've think, never changed anybody's mind. I think that's true. By posting it, I don't think I was. I don't think anybody was ever made a better human being no. by reading a N internet, internet comment. comment or review or any of nah. that kind of stuff. So, uh, in that regard, I mean, it's nothing to take seriously. Right. Internet comments are hilarious. Mm -hmm. Post some internet comments down below for us to read, because we love reading yeah. them and they're hilarious. I, and I do love the mean tweets. Oh, dude, mean tweets are great. Yeah, I do. I think mean those are, are great. Amazing. All frowning old dudes are Jeffrey Tambor to me. That's just hurtful. By and large, that's the internet is the internet. So Internet's whatever. internet. Uh, in person, Ooh. I think that uh, we've we've clearly experienced some racist comments, and I think adoptees, and yep. particularly Asian adoptees, have a unique perspective right. on the whole. Like, I mean, we are a, a extremely racialized nation mm -hmm. right now. And it's it's interesting because one, we're not African American, we're not right. black, and we're not white, but we were raised primarily, most of the Asian adoptees anyway, were raised by white people. Right. Uh, and a lot of us are also kind of involved with a lot of different cultures and we know it quite a bit and, mm -hmm. and how to adapt and how to do those things. But we're we're like half a step removed yeah. from most of the racial things. <laughs> that are going on. They don't pay attention to us. They don't, <laughs> right? And like Asians specifically, like most of our stereotypes are, are good. Yeah. Can you fix my computer? <sighs> right? Like, yes, I can. Oh, you are you must be really smart and good at martial arts or whatever. Yep. And like, there's really nothing, I don't think that's bad. No, it's not. Uh, We're intelligent. Because I am it's really smart and, and as we discussed a few videos, ago, like a year ago, all Asians know martial arts. That's they genetic. Yep. So. <laughs> Just like this, ready? I can't squat oh, any further. You're than still this. on screen. You're still on. You're still on camera. That wasn't. There you go. Disappeared. And for the most part, we perpetuate these stereotypes on purpose. Um, but it's but it's also interesting if you read some of the literature and you look at like um, my personal experiences. I honestly I didn't see myself as like Asian mm -hmm. until I was like in my mid twenties. I don't think. Like, if you'd have asked me, I know intellectually, right, that I'm right. Asian, but I wouldn't have been like, yeah, I'm an Asian person. Yeah. I would have just been like, I'm adopted mm -hmm. before I would say I'm Asian because my my cultural understanding is white people. All white people. They're, I mean, super white. Pretty, and that's a lot. Most white people, I don't know if you agree with this, but most white people are easier for me to get along with just on a like a right. day to day, I just met you kind of level yeah. than. I mean, that's what we're surrounded with, Other you know, things. our community, like we have a very, very small population of Asian and African American and anything else besides a bunch of white people in our community. And so right. we interact with them on a daily basis, you know, in business and personal lives. Rob's out there right now, probably making some really racist comment about us being Asian or being adopted, Just probably being an insensitive jerk because he's white. I don't know. It's cool. But yeah, I, I agree, though. It is so much easier to to relate or like you know like if i'm just meeting somebody to get into a conversation with that person if they are white right. because that's the culture that i was raised well, in that's our cultural understanding yep and, and that i mean that's my that's my baseline uh and it makes a lot more i mean it's just a lot easier for us to do that i think yeah than, it is uh than anything else and it's i mean it's interesting you talk about like you talk about friends that we've known our entire lives mm -hmm. or like I have a cousin, you know, or whatever that, that really legitimately don't see us as Asian. Right. Until it's brought up. Yeah. Right. Like it just doesn't come up that, that 
weird Asian. And I've brought it up more in probably the last <laughs> five or ten years uh -huh. than anybody else ever has previous to right. that, right? Like, I feel like within the last decade or so, I've just really embraced played into the that. i'm asian right. card and uh, I, i've done that for a long time i did that a lot in high school um you know people would come up to me and i would make an asian joke just to break the ice and especially with new people i i, I love i love just throwing people off guard by doing that right you know they'd be like oh man like you know like you're so good at this i'm like yeah it's because i'm asian mm -hmm. and they don't know who i am at all right they've never met me they just had one interaction with me and they're just like ha yeah, huh? and then like here's here's where the line needs to be drawn, and I think you were gonna talk about this a little bit. Yeah, I can say this stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know you. It's right. Real awkward if you say anything about it. Yeah. Even after I bring it up, like you know, like it's uh, I'm trying to you know um, introduce myself a little bit more and you know play into these things that are going to let your guard down, right? And the the race thing seems to do that a lot for me. It works well for me. But when people come back and they start making those jokes as well, within that first conversation especially, mm -hmm. I'm just like, ha, 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 yeah, too, you did that. Too soon, bro. Yeah, you did that. Too soon. And I can't tell you how many people, how many people do that. Mm -hmm. And so I've actually had to question myself. I was like, maybe I should stop doing that. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm opening the door for them and saying, come on in. Yeah. Racist comments. Here we go. You know, for the most part, people that are close will, that's fine. Yeah. I know you well enough, or I know your heart, and I know, you know, who you are. Yeah. To the point where this is not meant to be offensive. Right. But people that are on the outskirts here or like even if I just met you and I brought it up but you said something <laughs> just right stop. like you can't just jump right on that bandwagon right. with me and think that that's cool right so there's a lot of issues regarding race stuff mm -hmm. that comes up especially in the media uh, and I think maybe my my blanket overall response is that I just don't take most of it seriously no uh, I we're we're close enough to the issue that I can find it funny when I bring it up, and and you know, oh, I found out that the, uh, apparently Michigan is number four in the nation for hate crimes. Did you know that? <laughs> is it really? Yeah. That's pretty. I weird. did not know that. Yeah. Holy cow! I, I mean, we originated the KKK. Yeah, I, I did know that. So that's interesting. But oh. anyway, uh, you know, for the most part, it doesn't it it doesn't really come up, and it's it's you know, when it does, it's just a question of it's not usually meant to be offensive so much as it is just insensitivity right uh or or sometimes a coping mechanism or a random old guy that or a random old guy blamed your interracial marriage for the price of eggs got because right. they're trying to wipe out the white race man yeah that's why eggs are so expensive that'll show them <laughs> you should probably go back at some point and actually say tell that story so it's not just uh, this random bit here and yeah thing. maybe We'll see. It's interesting. I encourage you, uh, Michaela, keep keep doing your thing. Yeah. Ask the internet is a terrible place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's some genuinely good people on it, and, and and it's a it's a great way to get your voice out there and and really express uh, who you are. As long as we're not also taking in what it is other people think of us. Right. Um, unless those things are awesome. So we Filters, love man. we love you and your channel too. We do. I haven't watched it yet, but I think he has. I watched a few. I'm going to go watch it after this. Myrtle Beach looked fun. Oh. She went to Myrtle Beach. Oh. Yeah. I want to go to Myrtle Beach. I've been. Go to Myrtle Beach! Poof! Poof. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's <laughs> So thank you guys so much for joining us today on Yes, We're Adopted. Don't make it weird. As always, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Put your comments down below if you guys have any fun racist stories that you want to be able to share. Throw them in the comments below. Make sure you check out our Facebook page and our Facebook group right here. We have a lot of things going on. We're all over the place. We love you guys. We'll see you later. Heading back to Myrtle Beach now. Bye! Hey, welcome back!